Have you ever seen this before? How come I've never looked at it this way before? You're not seeing it, are you? Want a cookie? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, I'm this guy, and today I'm gonna to show you not one, not two, but three different setups to create a stereo guitar rig, and I'm gonna show you how to get some PDFs of all three setups. Stereo guitar rigs, PDFs, and a cute dog. You know what, I can't think of any reasons why you wouldn't wanna to subscribe to this channel. So this is gonna be an introduction to setting up a stereo guitar rig. There are complexities that come into play when you're setting up a live rig in stereo, so we're not gonna to get too deep down the rabbit hole, but if you've never set up a stereo guitar rig, I'm gonna have three examples for you that should get you a foot in the door in setting up your own stereo guitar rig. Now the obvious prerequisite in setting up a stereo guitar rig is you need two guitar amp setups. Now they could be two combo amps, they could be two head and cabs. Now they don't necessarily need to have to match. Now you can use amps that you've got lying around. Now if you were setting up a, a stereo guitar rig from scratch, Getting identical amplifiers on either side certainly would make your life a lot simpler, especially if you're setting up something for a live situation. But you know what, you don't have to. You can create some interesting blends with two different amplifiers. Now I've got a matching set of Marshall 4x10 cabinets, but I'm gonna be driving them with two very different amplifiers. I've got uh, the JCM 900, which is a 50 watt head, and I've got the Rev G20, which is a 20 watt head. However, there is one recommendation when setting up a stereo guitar rig, is that your amps need to have an effects loop. Many do, some don't, but it's the most efficient way to set up a stereo guitar rig. I'll explain that in a second. So if you've got two amplifiers, they both need to have an effects loop because all three setups I'm gonna show you today require that they do. In this first example, I'm gonna take my two guitar amp setups and turn it into a stereo rig with a stereo delay pedal. Now, in this example, the Marshall is gonna be the main amplifier and the Rev is gonna be the secondary amp. Now, we're gonna generate all the tone with the Marshall and then the Rev is gonna act as mainly like a power amp because we're bypassing the preamp on that amplifier and it's just powering the other side of the stereo spectrum. Now you can use any delay pedal you've got lying around as long as it's a stereo delay pedal. Now I've tried this with a couple different pedals including this Line 6 DL4. It worked amazingly well. But the pedal that I'm gonna to feature today as part of this setup is IK Multimedia's X-Time. It's part of the X-Gear series. Uh, why don't I share some specs uh, on this pedal including some gratuitous spinning product shots. X-Time is a stereo delay pedal with 16 different algorithms from vintage tape effects to futuristic delays. The large screen, eight dials, and three buttons give you extensive control for editing presets and accessing your effects easily in a live situation. It also includes the plug-in version of the pedal accessible within Amplitube so you can create and store presets between the physical pedal and your computer. I spend a lot of time in front of the computer, but when I'm shaping tones and getting my, you know, my guitar sounding right, I like to twist real knobs, play with real amplifiers, and even play with real effects. Now the thing with this pedal, including the other pedals in the X-Gear series, is you can set up your preset, you can save it, but then you can connect it to your computer and zap that preset over to the plugin. So in this case, when I'm recording, I can set it up, get everything working, but then I can bypass the effect on the pedal, record dry, so I end up with two tracks, and then I can apply the plugin with the exact same setting that I created on the pedal. It's a really great way to work. Now, if you're a gigging musician and you do a little bit of recording at home, you could be noodling on your computer with the plugin, come up with a really killer effect that you want to apply to your live rig. Well, you can do the reverse. You can send it to the pedal. It's a really awesome way to work. All right, let me show you how to get this set up. For all of the examples in this video, I've mic'd up my cabs with the Shure SM57 and the Sennheiser E906. Both are plugged directly into the interface on separate inputs, and all tracks were recorded with the Sur Classic T Deluxe Limited Edition. In this setup, you plug your guitar into the main amp, which is on the left. When using a single input on a stereo pedal, the mono input is usually the left one. So take the send from the left amp and connect it to the left input on the delay pedal. And the return from the left amp connects to the left output. Then connect the right output on the delay pedal to the return on your second amp and you've got yourself a stereo rig. By the way, I've created PDFs of all three setups I'm gonna show you today in this video and I'm gonna make those available on my Patreon. I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check me out there and you can grab your PDFs. <laughs>
As great as that sounds, there is something missing. What might that be? Well, I'll tell you. Reverb. I'm gonna show you how to introduce reverb into the chain. Now, in keeping with the X gear theme, I'm gonna be using the X bass, much for the same reason why I like the X time is the ability to share those presets between the pedal and the DAW. Like I said, whether you're playing live or you're recording, honestly, once you've started working that way, it's really hard to go back. I actually featured this pedal and in a whole video, I'll make sure to put a link in the description. All right, let's uh, jump in and I'll show you how to incorporate a reverb into the chain. This setup is similar to the previous one, but here you need to insert your reverb in between the delay and your amp. So same as before, your guitar connects to the input on your left amp and the send from your left amp connects to the left input on the delay pedal. From there, the left and right outputs from the delay pedal connect to the corresponding left and right inputs on the reverb pedal. Then take the left output on the reverb and connect it to the return on your left amp. Then take the right output from the reverb and connect it to the return on your right amp. Conventional thinking suggests placing a delay before a reverb in a signal chain. This is not the video to debate this thinking, but you certainly can try reversing the order of the pedals. Either way, your stereo rig now has delay and reverb. never played through a stereo rig, I highly recommend you try it. It's absolutely mind blowing. So the last setup is a little bit different. It's kind of stereo, but it's kind of not. It's called the wet amp dry amp. And what that means is we're running two amps at the same time. We're gonna put effects into one of the amps and we're gonna keep the other amp dry. Now this is great for a live application because you can blend the two amps together, helps you maintain some definition and clarity in your guitar because sometimes with too many effects, especially in a live setting, it can get a little bit muddy. So if you're running two rigs, it's a great way to blend that affected signal and that dry guitar sound at the same time. It really works really, really well. Now for a studio application, I've already told you that I don't record with effects on anyways, but this allows me to play with the effects in the room. But the cool thing about this is that we're driving two amps at the same time. And to do that, we're gonna use an ABY box. This allows me to plug uh, my guitar into the input and then take two separate outputs into the face of each amplifier. This allows me to shape the tone independently of each amplifier. And then when I record, like I said, I'm turning off the effects. Now I've got two dry signals from two different amplifiers. This is different than double tracking. And once it's in the mix, I can apply stereo effects in the mix to get a true stereo guitar part. So it's a real great uh, hybrid setup. Works great for live and in the studio. Uh, let me show you how to set that up. For this setup, it doesn't matter which amp is on the left or right as only one of them receives the effects. If only one of your amps has an effects loop, then this setup can work for you. Just place your amp with the effects loop on whatever side you want. Start by connecting your guitar to the input on the ABY box, and then connect the two outputs to the front inputs on both of your amps. A true ABY pedal will allow you to turn both signals on at the same time, so make sure both channels are active. Then connect the send from your chosen wet amp to the left input on the delay pedal. Connect the left output on the delay to the left input on the reverb, and then connect the left output on the reverb back to the return on the same amplifier. Set the tones independently on each amp, and then give your wet and dry amp setup a test drive. Oh, I twisted my brain in knots putting that together, but hopefully you found that helpful and interesting and perhaps you're on your road to creating your first stereo guitar rig. 
If you have any questions, if you have any thoughts, that's what the comment section is for. And don't forget that I've got PDFs for all three setups available on my Patreon. It's a great way to support this channel and you get some goodies at the same time. But if you did like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and ring that bell. If you really wanna help out this channel, I've got affiliate links in the description, included in which are products that I featured in this video, plus other things that I use around the studio. I've also got merch. It all helps the channel, helps me bring more content to you. And I really appreciate that. But the most important thing is to check out another video. I've got one waiting for you right here. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll. And look forward to seeing you again in another video.